ุจจอองจุนจุนแรปกาบรรทอกกระจำนาการในใจพิธีสำนาการในมดหนึ่งบรรทอกกระจำนาการสำนาการจะทำไงดีอองจุนแรสมจุนจุนดำดังดอลพิกีในถนนเรืองกระไดโซโซปีถึงอ๋อท่าหนึ่งขนมกระจำนาการสำนาการทำไงดีอาวุธทำเบียนจะกรมยุทธราดจีจะกรมเชียดโดยก่อนเป็นตัวเรียกจำบัดก่อนเป็นอาจูร่วมในขนมกระจำนาการสำนาการบ้านบรรดาปียังขยมบานปีครูจะบอลจะมวยนังบรรดาจะกรมปิงสตในองจุมแดดทะเลตะบงยังบานทำไรต่างต่างลูกจะกรมทุมนีได้จีจะกรมบำรงขังเพียกีจิตจุมดวงคนไรจะกรมยุวัตระได้บานอาวัตมิ่นระหดดาวปีนะได้ลูกจะกรมยุวัตระมิ่นวัตมิ่นนังมิ่นระดับเพียบอาจุมเป็นการเงียบขนมกาจูรุ่มขนมกาจำนาคาสำนาคาในองจุมจุมแดดทะเลตะบงวิญบานกาสำไรนี้ได้ไปตามบัตรยัดในวิเทียนเจ็ดทุบบุญบุญในวิเทียนไตขนงองยิบได้วิสมัยขนงตลาการกัมพูชีตุสไรสายกอบทีลังกีการปีสถานพิบวัตถุมีนวัตถุมีนพิกีนังบกุลเดลองยิบได้เจอเจอร่วมในขนงกันจำนาการสำนาการไงดีส่งกรุบหลบเทียนกรุบเพื่อกิจแต่งอ่อนในเรื่องใดนี้มีนวอเตมีนเลือกแรงตายจนจับจัดเอียงสรีมีนวอเตมีนเลือกบรรทุกคุ้นขังกล้ามบรรทุกสามนาการนี้ตายจนจับจัดบานสนาส้มแดดบังซัดตามระยะเมตวิตบอกล้วนนกาเจอร่วมดำนาการในเตตีสามนาการได้ตัวปีบรรทุกสามนาการนี้ดีขัดแหลกบังซัดบอกจนจับจัดบานประกอบดอกลามจีรุ่ยหอยได้ไล่สะใส่บ่มรองได้เติมหมกดอกสไคลกัมบรรทุกปีสะใส่สาวสรุนนี้คือสะใส่ทีซีดับยูใบรอยไปใบหนึ่งมิลวอเตมีนหนึ่งมองดับสามสมิติปรักนี้สะใส่รูปนี้บานทวสมบัติในจมพูมุกเนตตาหนองมองได้กาปีมซาลมันบ่าคุณตลอดเลยก็ทราบอย่างนี้อองจุมเรศลาตบงบานตะตูลเปี่ยสมรบชุนจับเจ้าอิงทรีจอกทั้งไอตีปรมเปิลไข่มิถุนายชนะปีบอลดอกปีตามระยะมิจฉาวิกาเปียกได้บกวนสมเล็บบองสุดโจรูมขนมสามนาคาได้ปตอลขนมปตุกสามนาคานี่ได้กดสมเนื้อบนโตตามด้านกระจำนาคาสามนาคาปีจำง่ายตามระยะประปอนสตูสำหรับระยะเปิลดำนาคาสามนาคาเป็นไปทั้งไงนี่ได้บูรหิตปัญหาสกปรกมันอายังกุยตามด้านสนับนงไก่จำนาคาสำนาคาได้ตัวบานเอาอย่างไรโยลเคยท่าเป็นนิจุนเดียวจอดอิงตรีบานสมเล็บบองสุดมีนวัตถุมีนขนมบรรทุกสำนาคาได้ตัวแต่กอดมีนระดับเพียบไอจามนานไก่จำนาคาสำนาคาปีจุงไงปีบรรทุกคุมครวนมวยทัดนกรอมสาวสำนาคานี้ตามระยะอุปกรณ์สตุนังไอสมรู้ลตำแหน่งตำแหน่งระเบียงกอดที่มวยนังกรมเบตบีระบกอดบานพองอองจำเรศสมรัยยุลพร้อมตามพิสมระบบชุนจบจอดอิงจรีในบานสนาสมและบังสุดโจรุมขนมกันจำนาการสำนาการได้ตัวขนมบรรทุกสำนาการนี้ออยกวาดเนยตามด้านกันจำนาการสำนาการปีจำง่ายปีบรรทุกคุมคลุนมวยทันกรอมสาสำนาการนี้ตามมาเดียอุปกรณ์สตุสำหรับระยะเปลี่ยนำนาการสำนาการเป็นมวยทั้งไงนี้ประกอบออยพนักสตุโจประปอนสตุสำหรับชุนจบจอดอิงจรีอาจมีระดับเพียบตามด้านกันจำนาการสำนาการปีจำง่ายสำหรับกันจำนาการสำนาการเป็นมวยทั้งไงนี้รุนสุดสุดได้ลูกสาวตัวรุนยังไม่เจอลูกสาวตัวรุนสกปรกเพียบในทางไหนนี้รอภาษาตีว่าสกปรกเพียบคุมทางไหนนี้คุมกรมชายสุขพลได้คุมสมเทแต่มาเปรกบาทบ่าอกุนได้ลูกวันดอลปอนเมียนนี่มาอองยิมเร่ดำไปอองยิมเร่เมียนบุรุษท่านในขนมกาบันโตกันจำนาคาสำนาคาโดยเฉพาะเพื่อกีเดเปียปอนในขนมเด็กได้เชียร์เพย์อองยิมเร่บานยิมเร่จุนดำไปรัดเพียบในกันจำนาคาสำนาคาในจงสัปดาห์นี
គឺនៅថ្ងៃនេះហើយនឹងសប្តាហ៍ក្រោយដែលលទ្ធភាពនឹងអាចធ្វើឆ្លាស់គ្នារវាងសក្សីសាស្ត្ររន្ធហើយន
who is it that had given you the ashes of lying to bring back to Mandalkiri? Were you also given the ashes of Kampun, the person who had killed Kang? Was it Pol Pot who, who gave you Lang's ashes? To ask you a few more questions about the meeting that you had with Pol Pot, Nunchea, and Son Sen while you were in Phnom Penh. Uh, given that uh, one member of the sector 105 committee, Kampun, had just killed the sector secretary. Did they ask you any questions about Kampun and why he may have killed Lang? Sir, I can answer that. Were they a angry or were they concerned about the loyalty of cadres in Mandalkiri region, given what had just happened? Admiral, Admiral, Now, when you flew to Phnom Penh to meet with the leaders, were you allowed to bring a gun or weapons with you on the plane? At this meeting that you had with Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia, and Son Sen, was there any discussion about how it was that Kampun had gotten a gun? Admiral, Admiral, Admiral. Uh, at this meeting with Pol Pot, Nunchea, and Son Sen, did they ask you for your views on whether Kampun was a traitor and whether there were other people who may have been working with him? Uh, at this meeting with Pol Pot, Nunchea, and Son Sen, Did they ask you anything about persons back in Mandalkiri who were related or connected to Kampun?
Mr. Witness, after the killing of Lang and your meeting with Pol Pot, Moon and Sun Sen, were there arrests of cadres from the K-16 Commerce Office for which Kham Poon had been responsible? Admiante Bad. Mr. President, uh, I would like to read uh, at this time uh, uh, and ask a question from uh, document E3 which is the first Mr. Witness, uh, in your first interview uh, with the co-investigating judges, you made the following statement. Quote, after the death of Talang, I knew that the commerce cadres were arrested. Was that a correct and truthful statement? What? And did the arrests of the commerce cadres that occurred after the death of Talang, did those arrests include Chun, the sector commerce chairman who had traveled with you to Phnom Penh after Kham Poon had killed Lang? And Mr. Witness, were you not directly informed by Pol Pot at one point that Chun had been called to Phnom Penh to be educated? But What do you know about the disappearance of Chun? <coughs> Mr. President, I would like at this time to ask the witness uh, about an excerpt from uh, what was his third interview with the co-investigating judges, which was document E3 slash 384 at page 00345904, English page 00348373. And French ERN 0034 And we'd like to put that on the screen as well.
เอาเงินไปอนุญาตยิ่มีคำถามเกี่ยวกับเรื่องนี้ผมได้รับคำถามจากนายพลแจ้งแจ้งว่าเมื่อ10วันก่อนเขาได้รับคำถามเกี่ยวกับเรื่องนี้ผมได้รับคำถามจากนายพลแจ้งแจ้งว่าเมื่อ10วันก่อนเขาได้รับคำถามเกี่ยวกับเรื่องนี้ผมได้รับคำถามจากนายพลแจ้งแจ้งว่าเมื่อ10วันก่อนเขาได้รับคำถามเกี่ยวกับเรื่องนี้ผมได้รับคำถามจากนายพลแจ้งแจ้งว่าเมื่อ10วันก่อนเขาได้รับคำถามเกี่ยวกับเรื่องนี้ผมได้รับคำถามจากนายพลแจ้งแจ้ง We have few more. Mr. President, we have a S21 prisoner list entitled "Names of Prisoners Who Entered on the 23rd of November 1977." Uh, which is document D175 slash 3.31, which records over 140 cadres from Mandalkiri, sec both Sector 105 and Division 920, who entered S21 on the same day, the 23rd of November 1977, including uh, Pan Khan alias Chun, and at least 12 female cadres uh, from the K-16 Commerce Office in Mamakuri. Uh, I would like to uh, use this document with the witness simply to refresh his recollection of the timing of these arrests uh, and the identity of the persons who were arrested from Mamakuri and sent to S-21 following the death of Lyon. If I may proceed, uh, I will display the, like to display the document on the screen, but I will simply ask questions to witness uh, as to the timing of when these arrests occurred. If I may proceed. Mr. Witness, we have a record from S21 that indicates that on the 23rd of November 1977, so late in the year 1977, Chun, also known as Pan. Pan Khan, the person who had traveled with you uh, to Phnom Penh to meet with the leaders there, entered S21. He is, uh, for the record, he is number 128 uh, on this list. Uh, as I just told the judges, the list also identifies 12 female cadres from K-16, the uh, Sector Com Commerce Office we talked about yesterday, and that he told us that was under the control of Kampun. Uh, there are 12 female cadres who also entered S-21 on the 23rd of November 1971, and also included on this list um, of the people arrested from Mondalkiri and sent to S-21 uh, was the wife of former Konek District Secretary Spy, the person you told us yesterday who had shot your two in-laws. Her name is Sikorn alias Kor Lee, and she's number 129 on that list. Now, given your testimony that Chun had accompanied you on your trip to Phnom Penh after the death of Lang, does this refresh your recollection that the date on which Lang was killed and the date of your and Chun's trip to Phnom Penh was before the 23rd of November? 
บาทคือขยมอัดดังเตกาเจ็ดเช็ดปมปีนั่นคือขยมนอกสระนอลอยเตขยมอัดดังเกจับเป็นนาเป็นนาจูนมาสมเตอัดอัดดังนั่นคือขยมอัดยลอัดดังซอันนั้นขยมสมปัติแสนว่ามิสเตอร์ซาลซูรุนอิสพอสิบเลยมิเตอร์ซาลซูรุนคือทาการจำจำมีนเดย์บะคือสิ่งการประทายลูกมีนการบะจำจำการบะเฉดคนแต่คืออายมุนมุนคลายหนึ่งชนะมุนหนึ่งเดลทาลังหนึ่งชูนเฮนึ่งกามาบาร์มุนเทียนโน่ตระบันสลับนักลุ่มปิงชังมันเอาลูกจำเฉดเลยกรันทาตาการเดลังสลับหนึ่งมุนปีหนึ่งหรือ Bà Lăng Sá Lạp cứ năm quan bốn rồi chết bầm bay thà chun nẹt tu nẹt ai nứng tăng bị chết chết bầm bay cứ khi ông bật dọn đi bật dọn bật đằng sau khi ông bật miền ca bẹp quan về đường chấp mà nô ấy để bà The question I'd like to put to you, um, Mr. Witness, um, is who made the decision to arrest Chun and the other uh, cadres from the sector commerce office who were sent to S21 on the 23rd of November, 1977? Was it you, the person who had just been put in charge? Of the sector by Pol Pot, or had you been told? Did you receive an order from the leaders that people associated with Kampun were to be arrested and sent to S21? Can you tell us that? 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 อยู่เราเคยหาตหาบัตรหาบัตรคือมันเนี่ยมันเนี่ยคือเจตภัยเจตปวยบาตรคือบัตรยอดสมุทรตาลูกคือชุนคือเชียชุนคือบัตรได้เติร์ดแต่เติร์ดแต่องค์การจับคลุนเด้อบัตรยอดเด้อนั่งทักบัตรมันบัตรคุมอัดยอลซะพญาเนี่ยสมุนทรตาลูกบาลสกอร์กามาบิบาลเนรีอาดัตฟูกาเนกอดับประมุ่ยเชียมันตีปณิจิกรรมดับบอลได้หรือเทอัดสกอร์ซะบาล Did the Sector 105 chief have the authority to order that arrested persons in the sector be sent to Phnom Penh? Did the Sector 105 chief have the authority to order that arrested persons in the sector be sent to Phnom Penh? Mr. President, I would like to read now again from the first OCIJ interview of the witness, which is E3 slash 367 at Khmer page 00251441, English ERN 00278. Six nine seven and French year end zero zero four eight six zero one three and we would also put that on the screen with your permission. Hãy xem ảnh nhạt bằng hai anh ấy sáng nít nó lười cái rong phong đài. Ôi nhìn mẹ anh nhạt.
Um, Mr. Witness, in your first Lúc statement say, to the investigating judges, you said, uh, made the following statement, quote, I knew that a number of detainees were transferred to Phnom Penh, but I did not know to which destinations, but it was ordered by Ankar via Tassan. Can you confirm uh, that this was a truthful statement? Thank Who uh, were the detainees who had been transferred to Phnom Penh? How did you become aware? that detainees had been transferred uh, from Mandalkiri to Phnom Penh. Now, in your statement, you said that the transfer was ordered by Ankar via Tassan. Can you remind us who Tassan was? The person you referred to here as Tassan, uh, Mr. Witness, was that the, de the secretary of Division 920? Is that who Tassan was? And this is the same person that you told us yesterday uh, when uh, Pol Pot asked you to uh, take charge of Sector 105. This is the person that Pol Pot told you could assist you in the sector. Is that right? But, got when you came back to Mondal Kiri after your meeting with Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia and Son Sen, did you have a meeting with Tassan where he had a list of people from Mondal Kiri sector who were to be arrested? Mr. President, uh, we would again like to read from the first uh, interview of this witness by the co-investigating judges, which is E3-367, and the uh, ERN pages in this case are Khmer, Zero zero two five one four four zero through two five one four four one English ERN zero zero two seven eight six nine seven and French ERN zero zero four eight six zero one three 
That's correct, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, in your statement to the co-investigating judges, uh, you said as follows, quote, Tassan from Division 920 came to the meeting with Ta Supia and me. He personally spoke about that arrest, for example, the arrest of Net Ta. Tassan already held the list, and I could not refuse. Can you confirm today that this, the statement you made to the investigating judges was a truthful statement? But I am going to I am going to I to I am When did this meeting between you, uh, the sector military chief, Tasopia, and Tassan take place? When was this meeting uh, in relation to the time that you returned uh, from, uh, to Mandalpuri from your uh, trip to Phnom Penh? Do you remember where it was that you met with Ta, Sophia, and Tasan? Do you remember how many names were on the list that Ta Son had? How many people were on that list? And the person uh, that you mentioned in your statement named Net Ta, can you tell us who that was? Do you recall that Netta was the had been the deputy chief of the economics unit under Kampun? I'd now like to uh, uh, turn to a different subject, uh, Mr. Witness, which is um, reports, uh, including telegrams uh, that you sent uh, to Phnom Penh in 1978. And
Do you remember uh, in your interviews with the investigating judges being shown and asked about a number of telegrams uh, that you had sent to the leaders in Phnom Penh? The uh, uh, first of those telegrams, um, Mr. Sasabrun, which is document E3-248, is dated the 1st of January, 1978. And I, I will get to that document in a bit, but what I first wanted to ask you is, does that refresh your recollection that as of the 1st of January 1978, you were sending written reports or telegrams uh, to the leaders in Phnom Penh? Why don't we start with some general questions about how you sent telegrams uh, reporting on the sector, uh, the procedure uh, by which you did that. Uh, can you tell us, um, did you type the telegrams or did you handwrite them? How was it that the telegrams were prepared that were then sent to the leaders in Phnom Penh? Mr. President, if I can uh, make a reference, uh, read from uh, the third interview uh, by the investigating judges uh, of this witness, which is E3-384 uh, at Khmer ERN 00345905. English ERN 00. 348 and we'd like to put that on the screen also. Mr. Witness, in the, the interview with the investigating judges when you were being asked about one of these telegrams, which is telegram 54, um, you were asked the following question. Did you write this telegram by hand or did you read it aloud for a typist to type? And your answer was, quote, I wrote it by hand and gave it to an encoder to put into numbers. Next, the encoder took it to a typist. Is this a correct statement of the process by which uh, the telegrams that you sent were prepared? Mr. President, Where was the telegram office in Mondalkiri sector?
And who are the people at the telegram office who assisted you when you sent telegrams? How often did you send reports or telegrams to the leaders in Phnom Penh? And Mr. President, uh, we would again like to uh, submit a question uh, to the witness regarding a prior statement, which is his, uh, from his second interview with the investigating judges, which is document E3 slash 383 at Khmer 00345913, English ERN 00350262. And French ERN 00361764. And again, we'd like to put that document on the screen. Mr. Witness, in this uh, statement that you gave to the investigating judges, you said as follows, quote, I had to report daily at least on rice production, climate, and how much or how little had been planted, end of quote. Do you confirm that this is an accurate statement, Mr. Sassaru? Thank you, uh, Mr. President, and uh, my apologies for interrupting. My objection uh, does not have much to do with the actual subject matter of what we're discussing. There's more the technique of asking questions based on the statements before the co-investigating judges. Um, the prosecutor um, has, in the past few questions, followed the line of reading out the statement before the co-investigating judges and then asking the witness whether that's a correct statement. Um, and I think that does not tell us much. The witness has already indicated in the beginning of his um, appearance here before you that his statements before uh, the investigating judges have been truthful. And I think it would be more useful to all the parties if the question would be phrased as, do you remember how this and this happened at the time, rather than just confirming the statement before the investigating judges, because I think that has very little added value. In this, on this particular topic, it may not matter much, but this will come back in the future. So it's, it's a, I guess, a request to the prosecutor to uh, phrase his questions in a slightly different way. Um, Mr. President, I appreciate the suggestion, but I would like to proceed in, in the manner um, that I have been, which is to first confirm that this is, the statement is correct, and then I have been doing what counsel suggests, which is to follow up and ask the witness some further questions about that. I think that's an appropriate way to proceed, and with your permission, I'd like to continue in that manner.
Mr. Um, the Saucerun, the statement that you made to the co-investigating judges indicating that you sent telegrams or reports daily. Uh, is, that, is that correct? Does that refresh your recollection that during 1978 you sent daily telegrams to the leaders of Phnom Penh? And when you sent uh, telegrams uh, to, uh, to uh, Phnom Penh, to whom did you address the telegrams when you sent them? Do you, do you recall also sending telegrams that were addressed to Office 870? Did you receive responses to the telegrams that you sent to Phnom Penh? When you received responses with instructions, who was it that would send those responses? Do you remember, though, who it was, which persons sent you telegrams, sent you instructions in response to the telegrams that you had sent? Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to read from uh, the same uh, interview uh, as, the, as I did before, which is E3383, and the ERN site for this excerpt is Khmer 00345912. English ERN 00350263. And French ERN ຈຳແນກອະນຸຍາດລູກປະທານນະບັນຫານລະເອກຮອງອົງຈຳແນກອະນຸຍາດເອີ່ນຍາສົນອົກຄຸນລູກສັກໃສຍູ
ដូចនេះគឺខ្ញុំមកពីពន្ធទីពុំបៃឲ្យចិត្តគឺមានទីរួនជាសូវទីរេស្ពុនសេសទីរេស្ពុនសេសទីរេស្ពុនសេសទីរេស្ពុនសេសទីរេស្ពុនសេសទីរេស្ពុនសេសទីរេស្ពុនសេសទីរេស្
hay khi nhôm sâu mà nhà lô bát đã không thay lệ ông Mr. Witness, when you were asked about this telegram uh, by the referred to the central committee that, as I remember, consisted of Pol Pot, Nun Chea, Pol Pot, Kyu Sun Pham, Son Sen, and Tamok. Do you confirm uh, that this was a truthful statement by you, Mr. Sauceroon? Just so the record is clear, uh, my colleague has told me there may have been mistranslation uh, that M870 may have been translated as M78. So I think just so the record is clear, uh, the question refers to M870. Uh, am I correct, uh, Mr. Witness, that you understood uh, M870 to include uh, a group of leaders from the Central Committee? Is that correct? Uh, Do, do you recall who was on the Central Committee as of 1978? The uh, telegram uh, that we're discussing, the January 1st, 1978 telegram, uh, is identified at the top as telegram 47. Can you explain uh, to the chamber uh, what that numerical reference uh, meant, uh, the uh, uh, indication of a number after uh, of the telegram? And Mr. President, I would like to uh, read from the witness's interview, which is E3 383. Um, again, that's the second uh, interview with the phone desk getting judges at Khmer ERN 0035 English ERN 00 350 and French ERN 00 361 762. And we'd like to put that on the screen. Mr. Salsaroon, in your interview with the investigating judges when you were being asked about this telegram, you were asked the question, what 
was Telegram 47 about? And he responded as follows, answer, it was the numerical order a remark to be explained to the recipient and it was also easy for us to refer to. Question, was the numerical order taken after a date or one number after another? And your answer was, the numbers ran from 1 to 100, for example. The number would return to 1 it would not go further than that. Do you confirm uh, the testimony that you gave to the investigating judges? And is it correct that when telegrams were sent out, they would be numbered sequentially up until the number 100, at which time you would start over again at number 1. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Now, turning back uh, to the January 1, 1978 telegram, again, which is document slash 248, I would like to read to you uh, the first paragraph of the telegram that you sent uh, to Office 870 on the 1st of January 1978. In that first paragraph, uh, you said as follows, quote, we would like to report nine Wan people fleeing from their country. According to their interrogations, they said the Wan had assigned them to come to spy inside Kampuchea and live with the Kampuchean people in order to grasp the Kampuchean people. Now we have swept them away. My first question is, who had provided you uh, the information about the nine one people that you reported to Office 870 in this telegram? Did you receive reports from the sector military which you then forwarded on to Office 870, Mr. Mr. President, I would again like to turn back uh, to the witnesses' interview with the co-investigating judges, uh, which is document E3-383, and the excerpt I would like to read is from Khmer 00345912, and Three five zero two six three and French year zero zero three six one seven six three. If I could quickly receive the answer to your question, Mr. President. Again, Mr. Witness, when you were 
uh, being asked about this telegram by the investigating judges, uh, you provided the following testimony. Question. In telegram 47, what was the situation of Prang Te and Dak Dam like at that time? And what was it like after that? Your answer, at that time, I received reports from the sector army, thus I was not much aware of the situation. Question, which military units had to report about the situation? Answer, sector military had the right to report only to the sector committee. As for the center divisions, they had to report directly to the center. Do you confirm that the statement you provided to the investigating judges is true? So do I un understand you correctly that you yourself did not have any direct involvement uh, about in the matter relating to these nine one people, but the information had been reported to you by the sector military. Is that correct? But Kim. Who was it from the sector military that would report to you? Was it top ដំបន់នោះដែលរាយការណ៍មកឲ្យលោកនឹងតើជួបធៀបតំបន់ឈ្មោះតាសុភានឹងឬបាទ <coughs> All right, Mr. President, I'd like to proceed to another telegram. And this telegram is document E3 slash 1078. And it is a uh, telegram dated 9 April, 9 April 1978 from Saroon. This telegram number 46, and it is addressed to respected M870. And uh, with your permission, we can put that on screen and ask some questions to the witnesses. Uh, Mr. Salsarun, I'm going to ask you some questions now about another telegram. And uh, in order for me to ask you the questions, uh, I will first read for you uh, the telegram uh, that I'm going to be asking you about. Uh, it is a telegram to respected M870 uh, that bears your name, Sarun. 
uh, and it is telegram number 46. And the first paragraph reads as follows. On the night of 7 April 1978, there was a fire which destroyed two boats, 52 tanks of gasoline, eight tanks of diesel, and a number of other tools. The cause of the fire was that the boat did not work. Upon arrival at Kampong Cham, our comrade requested another boat to tow the broken boat to Prek Prasad. Our comrade, who was the owner of the helping boat at Kampong Cham, went up to the village in order to find those who wanted to go down. There were three crew members on the boat. A crew member named Sang guarded on the head of the boat for fear that the people might use the lighter causing ignition, and two others named Eng Kat and Bun Sa were in the boat lighting a lamp. Meanwhile, the guard on the head of the boat warned them not to light the fire for fear of ignition of gasoline. Suddenly, there was flame of the ignited gasoline. The man holding the lamp was also injured. Well, let me stop, stop there. Uh, this is in the middle of the telegram. Do you recall the incident uh, of, the, of the boat uh, setting on fire uh, that is the subject of your telegram report? Do you recall that incident? Yeah, I'd like to continue on and read the rest of your telegram, Mr. Sasaroon. The telegram continues as follows, quote, according to the sector's examination and the report of Comrade Sun, the two men had burned. The measures of the sector, one, arrest the two men, two, arrest contemptible lean According to the examination, there had been the assignment from Lean. Carry out the arrest of these men today on the 9th with warmest revolutionary fraternity, Sarun, dated the 9th of April, 1978. The, the telegram indicates that the sector had conducted an examination uh, of this matter. Uh, who was it that had conducted this, in, this examination? When you wrote Some this telegram, sent this telegram to, to Office 870, uh, indicating as uh, measure, measures of the sector to arrest the two men and to arrest the contemptible lean, were you asking uh, the party leaders in Phnom Penh for their decision on how to proceed, or were you informing them that you had already arrested these people? Why did you send this telegram to Office 870 uh, proposing measures related to the rest of these people? What was your reason for sending this telegram to Office 870? 
มาคือเมียนกาคอยคานจังเลยเรียกาเป็นเต็กมันบานจับบานวิบรอบสัมผัสก็อ๋อมันจับมันอุเทียกันแต่ขาดเตี้ยบานมิสเตอร์วิทเนสผู้ผู้ว่าจะที่ได้ทรัพย์สินที่จะตัดสินว่าใครจะถูกจับได้หรือไม่ว่าจะเป็นคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณหรือคุณอ๋อหนังคือมันได้บานจับนองรู้เราสับทั้งไงนี่บ้านสมุทรตาโลกบานตัวลูกกาชลายตอบของวิ่งตัวหนึ่งตัวเล็กบอกลูกเต๊ะไปได้ลูกพญาตัวพนมเป็นหายบ้านเบอร์พญาหายคือคือบานตัวแล้วคือตอบมาเป็นบาท And who was it that responded to this telegram? ชายตอบมาเป็นนู้บาทลูกบอลบอล And did he provide you instructions on what to do in relation to these people and his response? And he provided you instructions on what to do. ทำเพื่อเรียกวิคุยคาเธอไอ้ก็ยังตัวมันเอนนอมถัดจับมันเอนนอมจองเดือบาทอ๋อแสดงลูกพี่นักสมัครญาติให้คำสมัครสิกฤตดอกซองของปีกำลังแพทย์รับจำลองปีปีมาสัตย์ใส่กูปีใบเออร์ใบโรยแปดสิบใบโรยแปดสิบใบโรยแปดสิบใบโรยแปดสิบใบ English URN zero zero three five zero two six five and French URN zero zero three six one seven six five. We also put that on the screen. Bạn hãy xem ảnh nhà tờ lá cao đồng bảy bằng hai lưỡi còn phần đại bạn. Anh nhìn ra nhà. In your statement uh, to the co-investigating judges, Mr. Witness, about this telegram and the response you received, you made the following statement, quote, Pot instructed not to unrest them, and I myself received the telegram from Pol Pot. Pol Pot instructed me to tell these three men not to be worried, end of quote. Is this a correct statement? A truthful statement, Mr. Witness? Yes, And is it correct then that in response to your telegram, you received an instruction from Pol Pot as to what to do about these men? Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perpertam, oi cap, oi cong, ku oi nenom ke, oi kim ruh nau doi sewat terpihat dah. Mr. Sal Sarun, we have an S21 
prisoner list titled Sector 105, which is document 3.15, which records that a Kong Lin, who was the assistant of Sector Commerce Office, was imprisoned at S21 as of the 10th of June 1978. We also have a statement from the brother of Kong confirming that he had worked in the sector commerce office with Chun and that he was arrested following the boat fire incident that is the subject of your report to Office 870. Is it possible that your memory of this incident may be incorrect and that, in actuality, in response to your telegram, Ankar decided to arrest Lin and to send him to S21? Is it possible that your memory of this may be wrong? บาดคืออ่าอัดเมียนเด้กองลีนกองเลียนคือนอกจากอ้อนะภูมินอกรั้วนอกสัตว์ตัวสับทั้งหลายบาดคือบาดเด้งเรื่องนึงวิดไล
uh, that you sent on the 23rd of April 1978 uh, reads as follows, quote, based on analysis, the division has agreed and wants to issue weapons to the sector forces to attack. Brother, what do you think? Please assist with your opinion because previously there were complicated elements in the sector and they were all disarmed. If brother has any ideas, please report quickly. Do you recall uh, sending a, a request uh, for an opinion on whether or not weapons uh, could be provided uh, to people in uh, the sector? ຈົ່ມປະດັບອາວຸດນັ້ນຄືແມ່ນອັນນັ້ນຈົ່ມອ້າວຄຸນລູກນະມາສາບິນຍາຄຸນສັກໃສ <coughs> ដល់សាក្សីនឹងទីប្រឹក្សាសាក្សីនៅ